This is the first time we've ever used a moving company to move our stuff. And so far, I think we could say we love it. I think Finley likes it and Mama likes it too. But these guys have, they have boxes um, and then sheets of paper for wrapping all your stuff. They have this huge amount of just extra boxes. Like everything has its own box. It's pretty cool. While the movers are moving, we have to, oh goodness. Oh man, while the movers are moving, we have to banish the puppy dog to the backyard. We're keeping the front door open. Luckily, the backyard's big enough she can run around and enjoy. I think she's gonna miss having a large backyard. So today is officially move-in day and crunch time has long passed and we were not ready for it. You guys didn't think I was going to leave you hanging about the truck update, right? Hey, that's my truck! Wait, wait! Hey, whoa! Oh. Alright guys, just kidding. However, we did sell the truck and when you sell a truck, you know what that means. You need something to pull the fifth wheel with. Old truck is gone, we sold it. The people who took it are the new owners and we picked up this thing. It is a 2011 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins turbo diesel. We picked this truck because it's an automatic court and I can drive it both. And it has four doors for Finley in the back and then maybe one more in the future. I'm setting this RV up super slow and very meticulously because I do not want to mess up the first time that we are setting up this RV. So I've set up this RV in the past before we did the renovation and everything's pretty much the same. I just want to be perfect so I don't have to do anything over again this time. out of the house which by the way we got the truck after the fact that we um, so we sold the truck and then um, that in between period we had like three or four days where we didn't have it which kind of sucked because we had like dump runs we needed to do the movers were awesome they did everything really well yeah the we pretty much had everything organized for them separated already for them to like what to pack and what to take so it took them a couple hours if that and then after that, it took me probably nonstop, what, probably, I woke up around 7.30 the next day after the movers came, and I did not stop packing and putting stuff in the RV. Like, literally, we waited to put everything in the RV, because we didn't have the RV at the house. So we had to do everything in one day, and Tim was at work, so it was like, all right, we have this room full of stuff to go in the RV, I'm just going to get up and, like, bust it out. So thankfully, Finley slept most of the day, like, like had all of her naps, so I was able to get all of it done. But I mean, I was go, 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 7.30 till he got home at like 4, and then we were working all night getting moved in. And then on top of that, once we were moved in, we moved that night 
to the RV park. So we literally moved in and moved, like did everything in one day. It was, I do it not was recommend quick, doing that. Super we, long day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was just like a full, full day. I don't think we got to bed till like 10, 30, 11. I mean, this one was exhausted, so. So we have, <laughs> we had about six months to do the renovation and we did not do all of the renovation. No. We were just like, let's just load up, let's get everything that we got going done now, and then we'll continue on while yeah. we're full time. Oh my gosh. Mm, machine. All right, guys, we're going to finish unpacking, get everything together. We will see you in the next episode.